instruction, learning and teaching from children to adults. Systems, complex processes, interrelated parts. Technology, the tools of communication, the science of instruction. This is Instructional Systems Technology in short. Instructional problems can cost you time and money. In the end, they could cost you a lot of money. What are you going to do about it? You could yell at someone, or you could ask the question, what can IST do for me? Instructional systems technology is all about the ADDI model. A-D-D-I-E. Analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. ADDI. Analysis is all about questions. Tasks, learners, teachers, and environments need analyzed. You have people, what do they need to know or do? Will instruction boost performance and add value? You've got a problem. Let's fix it. Design is all about thinking and working out what the instruction is going to look like, sound like, feel like. It's about speaking out the map for instruction. Development is all about using the tools to create media of instruction, letting teachers know how the problem can be solved. Implementation is all about solving the instructional problems. It's where the rubber meets the road. It's about teachers, learners, and the media of instruction. Evaluation is all about questions. Are the systems that were created working effectively and efficiently? Has the instruction added value? Has time been saved? Have people learned what they needed to learn? Does this solve the problem we said we'd solve? Were the methods of instruction effective? Did we use the right media? Were the instructional materials effective? Questions and more questions. The problem? Was it solved? How do we know? Instructional systems technology has three major foundations that tell us what instruction is all about. Behaviorism looks at behavior. Cognitivism looks at the mind. And the other ism, constructive-ism, looks at the learner and the learning environment. B.F. Skinner was a behaviorist who said that instruction and learning is all about feedback. Other people were talking about what the learner was thinking. Skinner said, No, you can't know that. You can only know your learner is learning by their actions, by what they say, and especially by what they do. And we can help learners say and do things using positive and negative feedback. That's behaviorism. Rob Fauché is a cognitivist who said we should focus on how people think and remember things. Learners have minds and we can help them expand their minds by connecting new knowledge with existing knowledge in meaningful ways. People have things organized in their minds in a certain way. When something new comes along, it might not fit into their system. So we should help learners to accommodate the new with the old, or help them create something new. That's cognitivism. Lev Vygotsky was a constructivist who said we should focus on how people learn in situations. Learners come together and help to create knowledge. Instructors become guides, mentors, or fellow adventurers. Everybody asks questions. Everybody interacts. Everybody finds their voice and learns. We find collaboration, authentic problem solving, and continuous learning. That's constructivism. All three isms address the process of learning, the role of the instructor, and the general shape of instruction from different viewpoints but it's still all about instruction. And people in instructional systems technology use these three isms to help them figure out just how learning problems can be solved best. How does this help you? Instructional systems technology can help you analyze teaching and learning problems. It can help you design solutions. It can give you the tools to develop quality teaching and learning experiences. It can help you train your people successfully and it can help you evaluate the processes so that you can save time by training your people right the first time, add value to your services, create and maintain quality training so that people can learn.
That's what instructional systems technology is, in short.